Welcome back to the garage yet again, the 1984 F-250. Today, we're going to fix some brake issues. Um, first, we're going to fix the leaks. Which actually, before we get into that, so that I don't, uh, don't forget how to show you, here's how I find brake leaks. It's very simple. I make them square body boys nervous. <laughs> Next, let's go ahead and top off the fluid. Because there's more in there than I expected. Let's top it off. Now it's the important part. Here's the part that isn't that hard, but you know, it wouldn't hurt to have a buddy. You just pump it. My, of course, going all the way to the floor. That's because she's spraying fluid out somewhere. And I like to give it a few good pumps. You can tell. If you know, you know when it's moving fluid. Let me tell you. I think I can hear it spraying. Let's find the leak. Now that we're under the truck, looking for the leak, you just gotta find the drip. And well, there it is. And uh, right on up there it's wet. Ooh, wait a second, is that a rubber line? <laughs> Might be, can't tell. So somebody has uh, played with this once before. So that's not very neat. Um, if we have to in this video, and we have to do rear brakes, I can tell you right now, with these, literally everything's going to get replaced if I have to get into them. Because I've pulled the axle to get to the rear shoes. So you might be thinking that uh, back there was the only leak. Well, sadly you'd be mistaken. So, zip right down in here. All the wetness, that's what I was hearing, spray. Um, I can't tell if it's part of, it's probably right where that uh, steel line comes through there. But what we're going to do is probably get a new rubber line and just replace both of them while we're there. It'd be silly not to. And uh, well, before we get to any of that, we're going to hop in the truck and have a little message for you real quick. Sorry, windy outside, so that's why we're in here talking. Um, and basically, important, important message is we are going to nut and bolt this engine and transmission before I go any further, because I've said in probably half a dozen videos, I'm going to do that today. I have not done it still. I know it needs done, and maybe it doesn't, but it's more of a fear in the back of my head that, you know, will keep you up when you're trying to sleep at night. It's one of those kinds of things. So... Before I allow myself to fix these brakes, we're going to do that first. Shouldn't take but five to ten seconds of your guys' time. So, let's quit talking. Let's get to it. So, as you can tell, down here we're going to tighten up what we can of these uh, transmission bolts. And uh, this is not to mention, this is my first time wearing this shirt to my wife. Well, I got a Farm King yesterday for a whole whopping $8. She's a Carhartt and all. Well, after I started wearing it, my wife told me that'd be a nice shirt just to wear and, you know, just to keep nice. Well, I hate to tell her this, but her saying that, she uh, pretty well signed this shirt to death record. So, I'm going to try to keep it clean today. I'm doubtful, though. Let's see what we do, though. Yep. <sighs> Yep, click, torqued. Yep, yep, click. 
torqued. Yep. Quick. That one up there is done. Let's get the other side. In case you're wondering, yeah, I finally got a haircut. It's about to be too hot outside for long hair. So that's when I start to care. But, uh, also shaved. So I'm a whole new person now, I guess. Now, let's see up top over here. Well, oh, there's no good way to snake an arm up in there, is there? Am I moving you guys? Nope. <coughs> <coughs> there shouldn't be two bolts right there if I remember right. See, there's the other one down below. See if I can get my ranch on her. Golly, I wish I could just. If this was an automatic, this would be a hell of a lot easier. If I'm being completely honest with you. Downside now is not the, just the dirt in the mouth. I'm driving the struggle bus at the moment. There we go. Hopefully. Flick that back. Yep. Torqued. That was a lot for two bolts. <laughs> um, at least I know those are good. I'll probably go through, check all four engine bolts, make sure they're good. Uh, at least this side exhaust. That one's got a broken stud that we're going to address in a future video. I have an idea. I've never seen anyone do it, but it seems pretty simple. So we'll see what happens. So about time you guys see me again now, we're going to start taking off brake lines. I'll tell you my plan there in a second. All right, figured pull you in here for a little first person point of view here. The sun doesn't get us, so. Brake line has a junction somewhere right there where she's been spliced before. So I'm thinking I take her off there, runs the whole way back to the soft line. Probably replace the soft line while I'm at it too. So uh, yeah, so we get this whole line pulled out. I got a new soft line, so if I have to, I'll cut it and hopefully I don't have to fix anything on the axle, but uh, we will see. See if we can't get this old sucker broken loose here. I think that's a half inch. If only, if only somebody had known about this prior to putting a fuel tank in. Boy, would that have ever been a smart time to done this. But that's part of learning. I even thought, boy, I should look at all these, and I think when I spray painted them, I've even said, oh, these lines all look pretty good. They do, just not behind that cross member piece. This is also part of the reason why I decided to replace all this, just because, well, I ain't fixing it right behind there. If this old girl can just find a spot to get on there. over there right there on the end that's what we need
There we go. This stuff's all dirty. These line wrenches don't really want to do what I want them to do. Okay. I hope this, since I broke it loose, I can use a normal wrench. Grab my shorties, apparently. Alrighty, so clearly both ends are undone. I'm gonna go ahead and fight this thing out off camera, so I'm gonna get to that. Hmm. <coughs> Alrighty, everybody, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Feeling this today, but uh, the more you get done today, the less there'll be due tomorrow. So, to do tomorrow. So, just got my spool here and just kind of gonna straighten stuff out. Nothing real crazy about making this. <clears throat> I can say, actually. I've never done this by myself. I've helped people do it. I've only bent fuel line before. Never brake line. So this is all... I mean, I understand the main principle of it. And I need this to be just a smidge long. I mean, the principle behind it is extremely simple, really. It's just take the line, match the bends. And this stuff is pretty easy stuff to bend, so, I mean, this is my iffy spot because uh, I know this thing goes down some here, but See where this thing is broken. I can't quite uh, do exactly what it wants. And right here. Here's where hopefully I can gently work this baby over. Right 
here as well. Now, where's my cutter? Ah, oh, there it is. So here I have a length. So now really I can just rip this baby off. This is no longer of any importance to me. Now, my first one to say, the bends that I currently am putting are not perfect, but part of that is not to slide this thing in front of the fuel tank as well. If I'm doing that, you know, it's going to go all hokey pokey in there. So I'm actually leaving this thing probably plenty long as well, just to ensure everything's fine. I mean, if I have a little long, I can add a little bend, but... I'm a little short, I'm a little short, that ain't gonna change. All right, so now the plan is just to flare the line. The ends are already sitting on both ends, so there's that. Alright, so that end is uh, flared. Actually pretty good. Really good actually for my seat, for I'd say for myself. You guys probably can't see it the way I just pulled it over there, but that end is done, that end is flared. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing on this side. I don't know why you guys need to watch it twice, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just do it. Time lapsing it twice would be silly. So let's do it. Alrighty, so as we can see, well, you guys probably couldn't see me talking earlier. This thing is made, ends are on. Everything's cocked, locked, and ready to rock for the most part. Now, even though I've said already today, you know, the more I do tomorrow, the less I gotta do later. Um, I am gonna call it quits for today, because like I said, I'm not feeling it. This is more than I already wanted to do. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll catch you guys in like three days because I have to leave early for a meeting tomorrow and I'll be gone most of the weekend so yeah it's also already a new day see I didn't ruin the shirt yesterday so wife's happy kind of got sidetracked yesterday helped her with her garden for a little while I would say sorry but I'm not going to be sorry for helping my wife out that would be silly <laughs> all right here we go all right we're back here again before I put the new line on um, actually, right before I started recording this, I took my brake, or uh, my line wrench, and put it on the fitting, and uh, I just basically breathed on it, and it's leaking. <laughs> but the way that this bend looks like how it comes out, and then straight down, I ain't surprised. This line doesn't look as bad, though, until you get to the other side of the axle, but at this point, rip off the band-aid. I had a storm a few days ago. Oil pan blew away. That was under this truck. So that's exciting. That's what we needed. Nope, no reason to try that one again. Let's see if we can uh, break another one. That'd be cool. This 
dang spare tire mount is just all up in the way. In oh, reality, yeah, it'd probably be smarter to get this out of my way first. Probably I'll just get a normal wrench, but this guy still should go on there. There we go. So yet again, I'm trying to not twist the line, and the line just broke. So that's that's really good. Well, when it comes to brakes, I guess I might as well mess it up now and not not potentially blow something out and wreck in the future, so. Yeehaw. How's it not completely snapped off there yet? Well, at this point, I'm just trying to snap it off right here, like that. Yeah, it just broke down here, but that's fine. This line's short enough, I don't mind replacing it. This one over here is not too bad. We'll make a game plan here in a second. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just get this thing removed, probably off camera. There's nothing too crazy to see really now. I mean, everything's broke, so. Yeah. As you can see here, I've got both hoses bent. Clearly, real professional-like for the rear end of this truck. So I'm gonna go through and Use my double flaring tool, get these two flared. You guys kind of saw me bend up and do one once. We don't really need to see it again. So I'm gonna get all this finished up and we'll meet you back under the truck. Well, here we are. Everything's hooked up now under the truck. All the new lines are on. Nothing's rubbing, everything's clear of everything. Uh, rubber's, new rubber line's on. Everything seems okay. Bends aren't perfect, but my first real time doing this, so I'm happy enough with it as long as everything holds. Um, I actually put these on here about two days ago, and there's fluid at the end, so they must have been gravity bleeding this whole time. They were loose, and I just finally now tightened everything up. Now let's get onto that front. All right, now up here at the front, here is my hope. My thought is, get you in here. I think she's leaking right about here. I'm not for sure about that. My hope is, is that I can snip that end off, reflare it, put it back on. Now I do have a new rubber line as well, so I can replace this one, because it's looking pretty custy as well. Um, boy, there's a lot of rust right there. That's gotta be good for it, right? Pads actually look good, and this guy, she might clean up, might clean up. A lot of people probably say, oh, you should get it redone, replace the pads. This thing needs to be roadworthy before I do that, and well, it'll get scooted around multiple times before then, and I'll, then I'll assess this situation. But right now I've got good pad, and uh, that doesn't have any big grooves, so we'll see. I'm not going to say won't, but we'll definitely see. But anyways, let's uh, go press the brake pedal, see where our leak is, and go from there. So as you can see, after I pushed it in the pedal, got some more leakage. Um, it is right around here where I was thinking it would be not a hundred percent sure I think it might be by some of that area that has got some uh, covering on it so I'm gonna have to look and see uh, if there is enough there that I can pull something back and make it work but I just remembered there's one line back there I didn't tighten I'm gonna do that first then I'll assess this getting it apart so yeah let's get stuff torn apart well best and worst case scenario I was trying to tap this guy to get him off and well, she snapped right where she was broken at, so there's my bad spot. And uh, downside is a bolt kind of uh, came out there, but that's okay. Get her piece back together, make it work better than, better than it did when I got it. All right, new lines on, nothing crazy there. I was thinking, what am I gonna do here though? So I gotta move this up and uh, Decided.
So a couple things that are really nice to get done in this video were fix all these brake lines on here that could have potential problems in the future. Get everything on that engine and trans all just torque to spec, you know. Um, now that all that stuff's done, I have not bled the brakes yet. I'm probably going to do that off camera when I have a second person. Um, normally whenever I do like a wheel cylinder or something by myself, I just use a 2x4. However, there's enough line here. I think I'm going to want a second person to make sure it's done perfectly. Um, I could blot another line up here. That wouldn't be crazy for me. But uh, yeah, um, now we know she can start and stop. Let's make sure it can run and drive well. So, you know, it is becoming summertime. Weather's nicer, but sometimes more unpredictable. With that being said, I can't say that my upload schedule is going to stay at every Thursday. I'm hoping every Thursday, potentially every other at worst, if worst comes to it. Um, hopefully we can get this guy good to where we can start maybe doing some body work or something to it. Or I'd like to actually do floor pans on it more than anything. And if we, once we start doing that, I think we'll be more in garage work. We can get more stuff out quicker. But for now, I'm kind of limited to out here because I've been doing other projects in there that do not pertain to YouTube. So, uh, you know, with all that being said, thanks for watching, everybody. Till the next one.